Hey guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond back again. Day 705 of my ketogenic journey. This is actually video two for the day. As the first one I shot, I got kind of depressed while I was making the video, so I'm, I'm redoing it. It didn't sound very good when I watched it back. Anyway, first of all, I'm going to show you what I ate yesterday. Happy 4th of July. I'm going to show you my macros and everything, and then I'll be right back with a chit chat and a weigh in. If you're new here, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for giving me a chance to show you my ketogenic journey. And if you're been, you've been here for a while, much love to you. I'm so pleased and glad to have you all on this ride with me. Here we go, y'all. Forgot to mention, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you love me. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. You're going to want to hear what I got to tell you about keto every single day. Check this out. got a super omelet. I've got it. I fried it in coconut oil. It's three eggs, six slices of bacon, two servings of shredded cheese and a cheddar and a serving of mayonnaise. I'm starving. I heavily salted with pink Himalayan and pepper. Yes, yeah, so the breakfast was pretty good this morning. It's been 10 hours since I ate last. It was 11:30 a.m. when I ate, broke my fast, and now it is about 9:30 p.m. so it was good. I'm just going to have a round two. It's uh, three eggs fried in coconut oil or scrambled in coconut oil with six slices of bacon, um, a serving of cheese, and some mayonnaise. Oh, salt and pepper. Heavy. <laughs> so the calories and macros for that were 1,690 calories, 3 grams of carbohydrates, 151 grams of fat, and 87 grams of protein. I just wanted to say welcome and hey to all the new folks here and of course a big warm thank you to everybody that's here with me on this journey. Again, if y'all need my help, my contact information is in the description of every video. So just shout and I'll help you. Again, you guys, happy 4th of July. Um, I'm not going to show you what I ate today until tomorrow. So far, so good. Okay? Yay. How are you doing? So far on keto on the 4th of July. I know family functions and big events can be a struggle. And if you do happen to fall off the wagon and you do mess up, it's okay. It's just fine. Just stop where you're at and keep on going keto, okay? Always just make your next meal keto. Keep on pushing. You'll grab a little water weight, but you'll ultimately be just fine. Something itches. Okay, so um, I'm not sure what our plans for today are. Um... Things kind of got twisted and bunched in a knot a while ago while I was doing my video, and it took the wind out of my sails. I sounded god awful when I did my video because I got depressed. I really did. Um, uh, I thought our fireworks show was on Saturday. Tonight, my son has something going on at his job that he wants to go to with his son. So, I kind of promised both my children that they might be able to use the car tonight. Um, Although I thought it was going to be two separate nights. And it turns out it's both tonight. So, uh. <laughs> and then there's also an alt the, the, I want to go. I want to watch my grandsons watch the fireworks. But again, they're going to two separate places. And if I go with the littlest one, because I've been with the oldest one many times to watch fireworks. The littlest one where they're going is a fair. I can't afford the food. I can't afford really to be there. And it's, it's um, like I said, it's fair. So there will be rides. And for the first time in many, many years, I'm small enough to ride these rides, but too broke to do it. So it's, it's annoying. And then, of course, if you eat something there, it's going to be uber expensive, and it's probably not going to be keto-friendly. So I have no money. I can't go. Um, I mean, I can go, but I'm going to be pouty the whole time, and it's going to be hot. Hot's not cool. So, <laughs> yesterday, guys, I'm going to go ahead and, and tell y'all about this. Yesterday, me and my grandbaby, uh, it, it was so hot in the house. We have two ACs. One is massive, and when it works, it's nice and cold in here. But for some reason, some days, it just keeps freezing up. I know it's free on or something like that, but I can't afford to replace it because the damn air conditioner is about a $500 air conditioning unit. Like I said, it works great as long as it doesn't freeze. But it was freezing yesterday constantly. So we went outside, turned on the water hose, put out this little bitty pool that I paid like 75 cents for. Um, I, I initially bought it when Zach was like two. 
um, but I never put it out. It stayed in a box in the house. I bought it at Dollar General for two, for 75 cents. It's a $15 pool. It's crap, but it works. You know what I mean? Um, and it was just hot yesterday, so just splashing around in a little tiny kitty pool is just fine by me. And what playing in the water hose was awesome. I nearly froze to death. And I'm going to put all those clips from yesterday on there. Although, fair warning, my grandson said some stuff. I don't know where the hell he got that from. It, while it was kind of funny, it was also kind of disturbing. But I'm going to leave it here at the end of the video. Go watch it. I also got depressed because while Facebook popped up some memories for me, um, my son and his ex, who passed away in August, who is Zach's mother, um, their first date was 4th of July. So those memories popped up. And then a few 4th of Julys ago, we did something called a three-headed monster photo. And normally it's where my son puts his head on one shoulder, my daughter puts her head on one shoulder, and we take a three-headed picture. I'm going to insert them here, and then I'm going to insert one at the very end of those of me, Brian, and Haley. Again, she's Brian Zach's mother who passed away. So it just hit me harder today, I guess, because of the memories and the photographs. But anyway, here are, here are the photos. All right, so you saw all that. that. So for all those reasons, my last video sounded like a weepy, whiny, moany, groany, life sucks moment. <laughs> it was almost a Hallmark film. Um, wow. So I wasn't expecting any of that. It actually hit me while I was doing the video because as I was doing the video, my daughter came in here and told me that the fireworks were tonight instead of Saturday. We, we sandwiched two towns or were the the meat of the sandwich of two towns. One's doing them Saturday, one's doing them today. I thought they were both doing them Saturday. They were not. So, yeah, that's why I was all confusing. And then everything started just, it, it piled in on me, and I didn't expect it. And speaking of things that piled in on me, uh, yesterday, uh, we got the, well, for the last couple of days, we've, getting, we've been getting the air warnings where the pollen's very high or whatever the hell's going on in the air is very gross and not necessarily wonderful for the human body at the moment. My sinuses hurt. And I know it's not just me. My grandson, the littlest one, his eyes are watering. My son had sinus headaches last night. <coughs> My voice does not sound good today. And everything kind of hurts. Plus, oh my goodness, yesterday it was so hot that I got in that ice water and my knees hurt instantly. It's like the temperature change from winter to uh, spring or from fall to winter. You know, I, I mean, if anybody's ever had arthritis, it's, it's a deep ache in my knees. And I've had that for many years. Now, it doesn't hurt as bad on keto. But that ice water yesterday, oh, oh that put a hurting on me. Just a little bit. Sure did. It's all right now though, but boy, yesterday it hurt and last night. So I was a little afraid that I would go up in weight. I didn't, but I didn't go as down go down as far as I thought I might. Since I just had the two omelets yesterday, I was kind of hoping for very good results. However, it was not meant to be in that manner. So if you're new here, I started my journey at 311.8 pounds. 311 pounds on a five foot one frame, okay? Almost a five foot one frame. I'm five foot tall. All right. I say five foot one because it makes me feel taller. But 311 pounds. I was round. I was sick. I was dying. End of story. End of subject. Just honest to God truth. Today, I weighed in at 183.4. So that's 0.2 down from yesterday, but still holding on to one pound of water weight. It's okay. It'll come off. All that being said, guys and dolls, no matter what your plans are today or your intentions are, some things will happen to some of us. Some of us will fall off the wagon. Some of us will fall down and bump our head into some kind of cake or some kind of hot dog or something. And again, if it happens, it's okay. Just pick yourself up, brush yourself off, etch a sketch it, it didn't happen, and keep on moving. Control, alt, delete. In a couple days, it'll just be a memory. Don't let it depress you. When you step on the scale in the morning and you go up two, three, five pounds of water weight, 
Remember, it's just water weight. There's no reason to be depressed. It'll come off in a few days as long as you go back keto and hold strong. And then you'll have cravings over the next several days. You'll have moments of agitation where you just kind of hate the world. And it's okay. Just stay the course. Stay strict to keto. Once you get back on it, stay strict. And in two or three days, all of it will be gone. The water weight will be dissipating. The, the agitation will go away. The sugar cravings will leave you. Just remember, even if you have oopsie daisies, it's okay. It will come off and it will be fine. You will not gain a pound of fat overnight. It's okay. <laughs> all right, so all that being said, what are your plans for today? Not just keto-wise, but what are you gonna go do? Are you going to the fireworks? Are you having a family barbecue? If my family has barbecues, they don't invite me. So I don't know if they do. <laughs> I don't. Um, it's, it's generally hot and I cook burgers in the house every day anyway. So you know. Uh -huh. Pro for me and my family, no matter what we do later in the evening, fireworks related or party related um, outings, we're probably going to go play in the water hose for a little while, play in the pool for a little while. I'm probably going to get the kids little cupcakes and stuff to have and some sparklers. Just something to do at the house. And I think that might be grandma's thing instead of grandma going out. Because it's hot and I ain't got no money and I can't ride the rides no way. And uh, <laughs> um, I think I'll just kind of do the little stuff around the house and uh, make a day of it for the for the grandbabies. And Anthony's six months old. He's not going to remember. Zach's five. He will remember. So we're going to do all that. And later in the evening, before everybody heads off to the fireworks, when the kids go in the house and the mosquitoes come out, I'm going to squeeze off a few rounds of my 9 millimeter because I love to do that. And it's expected. You'll hear gunfire all day long. Well, in the South, you will hear gunfire all day long on the 4th of July. That's just kind of what we do. But no worries, folks. I live way the hell out in the country and ain't nobody in danger. There's literally nothing for over a mile behind my house. So there's no danger there. We, we shoot back there all the time. I was gonna shoot the scale. Uh, for those of you who remember, one of my scales was going out. So one of you kindly bought me a new scale. The other scale hasn't went out yet. It started working better. Probably because I don't use it as much because I have two now. Um, but it actually started working better and I can't shoot it yet. But if it ever goes out, that sucker's getting got. Okay, I've got an old cell phone too. I save up certain things so that I have things to shoot at. Uh, <laughs> certain things, because you know that makes a fun video. Somebody shot their cell phone, somebody shot the scale. There are ideals, I can play around with those things. I shot the ashtrays when I got rid of uh, my cigarettes and I stopped smoking. I shot five ashtrays from the house and one of them kind of broke my heart because the kids made it for me, but it was long since overdue to be gone and they didn't mind me shooting that at all. Anyway. What are your plans for today? What are you gonna do today? Do you need any keto help? If you are new to keto, on the front of my channel, I have a playlist of how to's. I'll teach you everything I know about it. I have a website called ketodiamond.com. Everything's written out as simple and plain as I could make it, including a full foods list of everything I know you can eat on keto. And if that's not enough, if you still need my help, all my contact information, including the website, is down in the description below. Just send me an email, add me as a Facebook friend. I have a Facebook group. I will answer any and all questions you have about keto and help you along your journey all I can. Man, woman, anybody, if you need me, send me a message. Much love to you guys and dolls. Happy 4th of July. I will see you tomorrow. perfect day for a little water hose action because it is hot in the house. Mm -hmm. The AC ain't working. It's just hot, y'all. Just hot. It's ice water. Pure ice water. We have well water, though, so it's coming up out of the deep ground. It was cold. And Grandbaby's over there having himself a bowl. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the camera. Hey, I love you. Zach, look at the camera. Love you. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hey, Zach, what do we say? <laughs> like and subscribe. That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, we're not going to kill our fans. That's, that's Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, wow. I look like hell. <laughs> so, I had a great time playing outside in the sun and 
and the little pool thingy with my grandbabies. Both of them came out. Y'all, yeah. until this beautiful little angel floated down with her demonic little teeth and bit me and went back and told all the other me evil mosquitoes, Ooh, y'all, that white meat tastes good. Go give it a shot. They tore my ass up. <laughs>